Greetings, humans. Today I want to answer a commonly asked question. Now, I've gotten a great many of you glorious and beloved true friends asking me, you know, presenting me with quite similar scenarios, like from shorter guys at Wandering. So I'm just going to make one video answering it all because, you know, this scenario was, you know, very similar to each other. So, the, basically, the question at hand is Can you be short and alpha? The short answer. Yeah, definitely. But we're gonna go into the longer answer as well. My main point I would like to stress here is that can you be short in alpha? Yes. Can you be insecure in alpha? No. Is being short making you insecure? If the answer is yes there, then you will have a harder time being confident and dominant. No question about it at all. I wish I could give another answer, but if you have an insecurity that is impeding on your ability to be confident and, you know, just feeling that fucking fire in yourself, then you need to deal with it. Because if it gets in the way of you feeling like a fucking god, then, then there's a problem. And it goes into the saying quite a bit, like, nothing is to be feared except fear itself. The same principle applies here. If you experience that it is a problem, then you will create a problem. If you say like, okay, that's fucking fine, I don't care, like, boom, there goes the problem out the window. So if you make it a problem, it will be a problem. If you don't make it a problem, it won't. Like, if you are secure in yourself either way, it doesn't fucking matter. We can take a completely different example, like, some people say like, oh, you know, it's much easier to get a good looking girl if you have a nice car. Uh, yeah, might might be true, I don't know. Do you need a nice car to get a beautiful girl? No, definitely not. So you have to distinguish between necessities and things that can be beneficial. Yeah, sure. Dominating space and, you know, being noticed can be easier done when you're physically larger. No question about it at all. Is it a necessity? No, not at all. So I'm going to take an example like from the most alpha guy I've actually met. Uh, and fro from the good old army. And anyone in my platoon will probably know who it is. Greetings, glorious brothers. So basically, he he was rather short actually. It was nothing I thought about. But yeah, he was like... Um, but he had that fucking fire and intensity. He was alpha as fuck. He was the kind of guy, when we were out exercising, you know, with weapons and stuff, doing different things, and he was watching, you, you know, you wanted to perform your very fucking best, you wanted so bad to impress him, you wanted him to be like, oh, that is a fucking good soul, good fucking work, that kind of intensity was what he had, so that didn't, like, obviously he was muscular and everything, like that, very fit and everything, but um, he wasn't large by any means, but he, he just had that fucking fire and confidence and everything and you know knew that that was a fucking formidable man right there and we had several officers who were the same thing you know really confident in their own abilities they didn't give a fuck about how tall they were like that that isn't that wasn't a necessity to be the best they could be and the same thing for you like are you a basketball player okay yeah then then you need to be tall but if you're just out and about, like being an epic hero, you don't need to be tall because that isn't a requirement to be epic or alpha. So get those thoughts out of your mind. I'm going to take another example. Glorious God King Alexander. He was by no accounts, you know what, <laughs> the tallest guy around. Did he give a fuck about that? No, he was busy being worshipped by his men, leading his men to victory after victory and being, you know, full of himself, believing he was a god. That's the sort of mentality he had. He didn't care about, you know, height or anything. So, if you're a short guy, if you feel insecurity, know that it will only, only fucking be a problem if you make it a problem. And this can really be applied to other things as well. If you don't think about, if you don't, like, go around like, oh, God, I wish I was two centimeters taller. Like, fuck that shit. Change what you can change. And keep in mind that, it is you in your mind that is creating the problem. It isn't a problem out in real life. So basically, to conclude, don't make it a problem. Don't make it a big deal. Change the things you can change. And then realize that alphaness and epicness comes from within, not your physical appearance per se. 
But then also, obviously, like, um, do the best of the situation, put on as much mass as you can. Uh, that will also help with the confidence. But you should not let height be any sort of thing that stands in your way to feeling like a fucking god. So that's basically what I have to say about that. Glory to Macedon! XOXO, BOOM!